Hello and welcome back to Data Cloud Now. We're currently in Chicago at Snowflake World Tour where I'm delighted to be joined by Tyler Prince, Snowflake's SVP of Worldwide Alliances and Channel, as well as Kieran Kennedy, Snowflake's Head of Marketplace. Gentlemen, such a pleasure to sit down with both of you here today. Good Great to see to be you. Here. Yeah, good to see you. Tyler, the time of enterprise AI is now. At today's World Tour stop, we are surrounded by customers, partners, and Snowflake experts talking about the value that Snowflake's AI Data Cloud has unlocked for them. To kick things off, can you talk a little bit about the role that our partners play in helping our customers achieve success with the AI Data Cloud? Happy to, Ryan, but let me start. First of all, welcome Chicago, my hometown. Thank you. This is a home game for me, and so it's exciting to see uh, you, my other Snowflake colleagues, and more importantly, our customers and partners here in town with us, so it's, it's really exciting. And, and you're exactly right. It's an exciting time in our industry right now, and as we are in the, uh, in the thick of it with regards to the era of Enterprise AE, uh, it's an exciting time at Snowflake. We feel super well positioned uh, with our data cloud platform to really be at the center of a lot of the innovation that's going on across a variety of industries. It's also an exciting time for our partners and the uh, importance that they bring to this, uh, to this environment and to Snowflake and most importantly to our customers. It's everything from our system integrators, both big and small, they're developing their capabilities, building their expertise, helping our customers be successful as they embark on their data and AI strategy on Snowflake. It's also important to see our relationship and exciting to see our relationship with the cloud providers. We spend a significant amount of energy and time working with AWS and Microsoft and others to really evolve our platform, make sure we are working closely with them to benefit our customers. And last but not least, we have an ecosystem of what we call our data cloud product partners, and those are application providers, technology companies, data providers, all rallying around the Snowflake platform and innovating to bring value to our customers each and every day. So really exciting time and it's great to be here. Thank you, Tyler. I'm absolutely loving Chicago. Great perspective and overview. Kieran, would love to hear some real world examples from your seat. What are you noticing across the ecosystem? When we look at the industry and we look at what they're bringing to their customer base, it, it's, the use cases cover many, many industries. So I could run across you know, 100 different use cases that they cover. And if you look at the marketplace alone, you've got well over 3,000 products that are available to our customer base. But one area that's particularly exciting to our customers today is how do they better understand consumer behavior? Right. And so if you think about, you know, particularly post-COVID, post is what's the consumer doing? Are they buying at home? Are they buying in the store? And so we see a lot of our providers starting to build solutions and have released solutions that we call the enhanced connected consumer data. So what they do is they really follow three steps. The first is to help the retailer or the brand identify who is, you know, who is Ryan? Who is Tyler Prince? Do we have the right PII data? Then it moves into, okay, how can we then augment that data? You know, we, we may have a partner that can provide enrichment information on their streaming habits. And then lastly, the piece is how do you then connect that to a digital identifier and then you can launch the activation campaigns. So it's, it's really using that, that, that enhanced connected data to better understand the consumer, how are they shopping, what are they doing, and then how can I then launch that campaign? I love that, and where do you see this going and where will we be, say, in a year or two from now? Yeah, I mean, we think about when we look at the products that are available, and one of the things we're trying to do with Marketplace is the, the B2B process, the, 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 the procurement process is this multi-step, disjointed, multi-user persona behemoth. And, and customers are trying to navigate it. And one of the things that we're doing is, or our role in that as the, as the AI data platform, is how can we make that process more efficient? How can we make providers produce things in a streamlined fashion? And then from the consumer side, how do I buy it quicker? How do I get value faster? And from that perspective, that's what we're trying to do. From the, from the platform on down is how do we streamline that process? Great to hear. Tyler, we love your perspective as well. Yeah, what you heard in Kieran's comments, particularly as it relates to marketplace and to our data cloud product providers, uh, it's really about putting the customer in the center and figuring out what we need to do to support our ecosystem. I'll give you some other examples for other parts of our ecosystem, like our system integrators. It's really important for us to continue to help our, our SI partners, consulting partners, 
learn our capabilities, appreciate our innovations, and be able to bring their knowledge and expertise to their customers so they can drive more successful outcomes. Uh, another example where we put the customer in the center is with the cloud providers. Uh, clearly, we're innovating at an incredible pace. So is, uh, so is AWS and so is Microsoft in a variety of other areas. And so the, the better we integrate our platform into some of the other offerings from, from the cloud providers, it means our customers don't have to build those integrations. So you're going to see an increased emphasis on tightening our relationship, building deeper integrations, and really putting the customer at the, uh, at the center. And I'll give you one more thought as well, which uh, also is very powerful for our customers. It's when this ecosystem of all these different partner types I've talked about, app providers, data providers, our technology partners, our cloud providers, and our system integrators, when they all work together, that benefits our customers. Because our SIs come with a point of view, not around how you get the most value out of the Snowflake platform, but also how do you get value with the Snowflake platform, but also with data providers, and maybe a cloud provider, and wrap all that up into a comprehensive solution for our partners. So exciting time, exciting to see our ecosystem innovate, work together, and add value to our customers. It's an exciting next chapter indeed, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Thank, thank you. you, Ryan. Appreciate it. And for the audience watching, I'm Ryan Green with Data Cloud Now. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you soon.